first of all thank you for being patient uh, this extra session was imposed by me uh, because sadly it became clear to me day for yesterday there is no way i would be able to attend these presentations which i love to every year i do and that is why but i still wanted to get a glimpse of what was going on i am sure that for most of you it would be partly boring because it would be repetitious of course knowing that uh, mayang did not permit lunch breaks and tea break and people were going out in batches and coming back in batches at least some who would have benefited by listening to the whole group i am very excited from what i see very good work my compliments and hearty congratulations it's not easy 8 weeks 6 weeks a very short time you spend initially a few days in just getting adjusted to new environment and then most of you are working on things which many of you had no clue when you started from your homes then that is what is challenging life we all live in challenging times you see people often ask me what is different in iit than other institutions nothing IIT is did not fall from sky the people here are same as yours i am no different than what you are but it is the prevailing ethos the prevailing ethos the vijigisha as we call it the energy levels the desire to do something something extraordinary and when you want to achieve the impossible you have to attempt the absurd meaning work 24 by 7 try crazy things but keep working keep working keep try and that is where you succeed success may not be exactly what you wish but you'll go much farther than what you started with this is the ethos which is sadly missing in most of our institutions otherwise believe me there is no difference in iit or nit or a college in jharsugra or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Brick and mortar does not make an institute. The people who make that institute. Why I tell you this is, it has been my long-standing desire that ek shiksha which Avinash started long time ago cannot be achieved by merely creating contents by pushing them through technology. It can be achieved only if the people share that ethos. If people share that desire everywhere. my first request to you is go back and work as our ambassadors please understand that when you were working here there no iit students you only did what you did you are not from iit bombay yet what you have achieved is exactly what any iit bombay student could achieve perhaps something more because you worked under time constraint perhaps something more because you did not probably have the kind of background and an iit student would have when he or she works here so what is it that was different here the difference was you were here you were physically in this ethos a few simple things labs can work round the clock you can work round the clock there will be failures there will be fightings there will be firing by avinash out there i face that every day of my life but please understand that these fightings these failures these firings are all taken in their stride because behind all of that is a tremendous passion to do something together behind all of that is tremendous respect for everybody else that respect is not stated in the words but that respect is seen when the person speak about your work behind your backs to others there is a concern that we must do something more because lakhs and lakhs of people are waiting for people like us to do something you are the future leaders of this country at least in terms of technology led innovation technology led wealth generation and therefore you have to be charged with greater responsibility i am happy that you learnt a lot but i'll be happier if you go back 
not only learn something more in the remaining time that you have in your college, but spread this amongst all the students. I can challenge you that for each one of you who has come here through a tough selection process, there would be at least 10 to 20 people in your batch who would be very similarly poised. It's just that they did not get an opportunity to come here and work. So they have not seen this environment. They have not breathed in this environment. They have not lived in this environment. Can you go back and create this environment for them? Can you go back and say that, okay, we have seen something funny. And that something funny was not IIT Bombay. Because we were not IIT Bombay. But we were there. And this is what we have done. Now we are here, why can't we do the same thing? Maybe you will not find large number of students perhaps because they will be skeptical. Maybe you will not find large number of faculty members because they will be skeptical. You will not find staff. You will find funny rules which says 5 o'clock in the evening, the labs have to be locked. Some places a seal has to be put. I have seen it locks being sealed, the funniest thing. But in spite of all that, you can work. I saw, I remember, I commented to Avinash that these faces look familiar to me. Then I remembered that at 4 o'clock in the morning when I was walking out of my office, I um, eight people in that, in that open space, uh, in the veranda, in the corridor, they were all working on something. And I was so surprised Then somebody recognized me. They were also baffled, what is this old joker doing here at 4 o'clock? The old joker is always found at funny times here. But I was so amazed to see that those kids were working on the, on the animator and Unity and they were working on deadlines. And I think uh, uh, Sami Sastrabuddha had just scrapped some earlier work and introduced this Unity and they said, and you have to do it. But wasn't it amazing that you actually could measure up to the challenge and that you could do it. And this is one group which I interacted with, but I was hearing all the stories that you are telling me and I can see, I can sense that every group has gone through that. Some failure somewhere, some sudden change of uh, thing, some twist in the ambition. And yet, at the end today, you are all proud to have done something. Of course, you have a list to do in future. That will always be there. No work of this kind is ever complete. These are all open-ended projects that we are working. And that's another thing I would like to, like you to take back. Okay. Do learn to work on open-ended projects. To learn to work with ambition to complete the entire open ended project. You will not, but you will achieve much more than what you would if you started with a piddle problem saying, I'll solve this and submit this as my report. That is not sufficient. That is not sufficient. I can go on speaking, but I will, I will just say that I'm very proud of what you have done. Believe me when I say this, you have lived here for those eight weeks as true IIT. So I, I can actually call you honorary students of IIT Bombay now, without any hesitation. I do not know whether I ever shared with you the story of a boy whom I met in 2002. Did I, did I talk to him about it? The boy from Wada whom I met, which, which started my journey on the Eklavya project and, and seeing which Avinash Haute joined me many years when he took early retirement from TCS and many things started here. But that reminds me always of the responsibility that I carry and all of you carry. This was, I think, 1999 or 2000. Yeah. Uh, I was invited to speak at, a, at an event in a town called Wada, which is not very far from Mumbai, about 60 kilometers. The occasion was the Marathi Vigyan Parishad, which popularizes science in Marathi. The Thana division was holding an event and they said there are a lot of tribal boys and girls studying in that area and they are assembling 9th, 10th, 11th standard students and they wanted somebody to speak to them in Marathi about information technology, Mahiti Tantradnya. So I had never given a talk in Marathi earlier but I said I will do that. I went there, about 400 students, 9th, 10th, 11th standard boys and girls very clearly they came not from the cities and the towns but, but from those areas. But very sharp eyes, very good intelligent questions they asked, they listened very carefully. And I was quite happy. At the end of that lecture, 
uh, when we came out into an opening, it was a sort of uh, hall somewhere. And then I was geared out by boys and girls for autograph. I mean, that, that never happens to a teacher. I felt like a movie star. I sat down and started signing. And there was one boy who was standing near and I said, uh, you want my sign? He says, no, I want to ask you some questions. Mala tumala kai prashna vichara hai chai, Marathis. He said, all right, wait there. And I kept on signing. Suddenly, organizers came in and they said the chief guest was the local MP was waiting for me for a cup of tea. He had to go away early and I had told them that I also have to come back to IITR. So when I heard that, I sort of wound up after signing the last two, got up and started moving and this boy caught my hand. He said, sir, you promised that you will answer my questions. And I said, uh, sorry boy, but uh, look, the local MP is waiting and I have to go. He says, I have walked 10 kilometers to listen to you. I stopped in my track. I said, you, what do you mean you walked 10 kilometers? He says, yes, I walked. So why did you walk? He says, what is there? I walked 6 kilometers every day to my school. And I asked him curiously, don't you have any tempo, bus or some such thing? He gave a uh, typical Indian rural reply. I had sir, but parvadat nahi. There are facilities, but I can't afford them. My family cannot afford them. So I walk every day. And then he proudly said, sir, I stand first in my class. I told the organizers to get rid of the local MP by giving him tea. And I, I told him, you ask me question. He, he, his one question was, Mala Mahiti Tantra Nyanatla Tajnevach. I want to become an expert in information technology. What should I do? Which standard do you study? Nine standards. All right. So I told him, you have to study maths and science. You should attempt to study engineering, computer science, etc. I told him about the joint entrance exam. I also told him, even if you don't get admission in IIT, it doesn't matter. You can be a good information technologist, etc., etc. He was asking me how to prepare, what uh, books to read, etc. It was very obvious to me that his school and his school teachers had no clue on the question that he was asking about, but he spent some. And in conclusion, I just asked him, why do you want to become an expert in information technology? I, 99% I was sure he will give the stock answer because that was the time when the salaries of information technology professionals were hitting the roof. And obviously a boy whose family cannot afford a bus fare would like to make life better in material wealth. So this is absolutely correct for that boy to think of like that. That's what I expect. So I asked him, why do you want to become an information technology? His answer floored me completely. He said, sir, you have a student called Nandan Nilekani. He has set up a company I have read called Infosys. I want to set up a bigger company than that. That's the ambition of a nine standard boy. <laughs> now, I met that boy accidentally. Only one such boy I met. Like him, how many boys and girls would be there in his own school? 9th standard, division A, division B, division C, 10th standard, 11th standard. How many schools in those tribal areas? How many schools in rural areas of Maharashtra? How many schools in rural areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Assam, Jammu Kashmir, Punjab, everywhere? 6 lakh villages we have. I tell you, it was an eye-opener. These are the aspirations of the young generation. And this country itself is an extraordinarily unique experiment. I do not know how many of you realize it because you have not seen other countries, you have not seen other nations. Almost all other nations are homogeneous. Even China, which is bigger than us, they have a single language, two. Most other countries enjoy similar cultural ethos, similar religion, similar language. Our nation is the extraordinary exception. 125 crore people, all ethnicities. There's been a colonium of people coming from all over the world. All major religions of the world. All languages. And we have as an added attraction a great specialization. We fight with each other on each of these issues. The language is different. Tamil nahi bolta hai Hindu nahi hai 
or whatever. He is not from Mumbai and Pune. I mean, these are the two towns. It's a very clear uh, this thing. I mean, the number of jokes about Pune one-upmanship are phenomenal. I, I might digress a bit, but I must tell you this interesting joke that I heard, where a Puneite was walking on the Deccan Jimkhana road, uh, tugging a rope. There was a big rope behind him, and he was just carrying it like this. So one Bombayite was watching him, was fascinated. He says, uh, excuse me, sir, but why are you pulling the rope? So he looked at him and says, are you mad? Should I push it? <laughs> so this is a typical, typical reply that you get. Sorry for digression. Point I am making is that in spite of this tremendous diversity, we have been able to live as a nation. And by and large, we have lived, we have learned to live with each other peacefully. We have learned to respect talent wherever it is. And you see this, this is a mini cosmos. What I am talking about the nation, all religions, all languages, all regions are represented. And yet you have all worked together. You have fought but professionally. You argue, but professionally. You shouted at each other. But each one of you has enjoyed this moment of working together. Now, this is the message that needs to be spread across. Ek shiksha does not merely mean one best quality education for everybody, but it means education in its complete proper perspective. It is not being learned. It is not being literate. It is being educated. And educated means working together, working for each other. When you go back and when you start working, you will do a variety of things. Some of you will, uh, will do future studies, some of you will do jobs, most of you will do jobs, of course. And you will become very rich because you are very smart people. You should become rich. There is absolutely no merit in being poor. Okay. Absolutely no merit. Only stupid people remain poor. And we are not stupid. We are smart. It is high time we become rich, we generated wealth. But when you do that, try and not to forget that boy in Wada. We owe it to him because it's people like him who are working in this country, permitting us to do whatever we wish to do. We should exercise that option of doing what we wish to do, but in the process, try and do something because this nation is, is looking forward for people to do something. The aspirations, your aspirations, your aspirations are much more than what the equivalent aspirations in my, gen my time when we were your age were. Those aspirations are very pointed. You are willing to work hard for them. But when you do that, don't lose your sensitivity to others. And if you don't lead, then there is not much hope. Because of the whole leading edge of the Indian uh, uh, spectrum, you are the most important part of that leading edge. Behind you, there are 315 million students. 315 million. And they cannot be led only by old people like us. We'll continue to work. The leadership has to come from amongst you. And the leadership has to be inclusive. Leadership must mean something for everyone who is an Indian. That's the only way India can come up. So make your contributions to yourselves, to your families, and to the nation. Thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs>